when should AML patients start the donor match process? So we have to achieve remission first. There are varying degrees of a remission. We like the best type of remission. And then again, transplant is really used as a consolidation. So a patient must receive some type of induction chemotherapy before we can proceed with an allogeneic transplant in the case of AML. Some other diseases, perhaps not, but in AML, we need that. So we do like to do transplant planning as soon as we know we'll need that. So if a patient is one of those higher risk patients, we start the transplant workup and process and preparing the patient that it will come down the line pretty much right away. As soon as we know they need it, we start getting things in order to pursue it when it's ready. Um, we know that in certain cases, the sooner we can get to a transplant, we feel that that might benefit the patient because it reduces the time frame for them to potentially relapse and we need them in remission. So we start pretty much right away.